day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ryan Hall. Thank you for tuning in to the studio here at Oak Mountain Media. My guest today truly is the greatest of all time. She is secretary of the Beta Club, a multi-sport athlete with track and soccer under her belt, and she makes an impact through more organizations than I can count. How honored I am to be sitting alongside Camilla Augustus. Oh my goodness. Hi, Ryan. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> it's going well, going well. Okay, that's great. It's cool. <laughs> Uh, thank you for coming in today, mm -hmm. um, and so let's kind of like get rolling with the interview. So I've known you, like just got to know you this year, um, and I also kind of feel like I've always known you because I've kind of heard your name through the grapevine, um, but have you always gone here? No, I actually haven't. I came really? here in eighth grade from Phillips Academy downtown. Okay. The transition was a wee bit hard at first, mostly because I um, was moving from friends that I'd known since I was seven years old yeah, um, to like a whole other environment. But um, just coming into the Oak, Oak Mountain community, I made a lot of friends, and right. yeah, I'm really enjoying my time here now. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's you and, and you have a sister, Sydney, right? Yes. So Sydney. you, so you're you're kind of the trailblazer. You you kind of you know, <laughs> lead, lead the way, right? Yeah, I'm hoping to leave a you know. Is Camilla Augustus your sister? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, yep, that's me. That's the one. <laughs> um, so like you said, you kind of had a initially. You kind of sounded like you kind of had a tough time. Had to kind of learn how to adapt to the new Oak Mountain environment. Um, what advice would you give to other new students coming into Oak Mountain? I would most definitely tell them to join clubs. Just clubs and sports were, are the best way to meet new people, right. get involved into the school. It's, it's great. Actually, in eighth grade, I joined the math team. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> um, that experience, it was really interesting. Um, <laughs> but I did meet new people, which was yeah. my main goal. So that was, yeah, that was fun. So are you not really like a math person? or you? No, I actually really love math, although I was not expecting <laughs> what <laughs> I um, went into for the meet. But right. yeah, it was actually really cool. You might not see me there ever again, Is it but right? hey, it was right. fun while it lasted. Yeah, man, those math team people, you don't really mess with, you know, like, they're, they're yeah, intense. It's, is like, it's really know. intense stuff. I was never really asked to be on the math team, so that kind of tells you <laughs> everything you need to know. Um, so let's, we can kind of talk about your involvement. I know you said you're really passionate about clubs. What all are you involved in here? Whew, man, um, <laughs> the list is kind of intense. Yes, um, the list is kind of intense. I kind of have a little, a little list here. <laughs> um, so it's all right, I'm just going to kind of say some of the ones you're involved in. Um, Minority Student Association, Beta Club, like we kind of mentioned earlier, your secretary, mm -hmm. uh, Peer Helpers, Science Spanish, and National Honor Societies, Broadcasting, Student Advisory Club, and Young Women's Club. Yes. That is so amazing. Mm -hmm. right, like, like, which one of these is your favorite? I mean, what? Hmm, I would probably say Our Hope International. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, I really enjoy that. It's a club outside of school, not a club, more like an organization outside of school. And Our Hope International is a um, organization that yeah. raises money for an orphanage in Uganda for disabled children. And wow. my job, well, I'm on the junior board, and my job as a member of the junior board is to help put on a gala, and I'm raising money for, like, I'm, I'm helping, I'm help, helping, raising <laughs> money for the gala, right. um, bringing in sponsors, bringing auction items, just all to give towards the orphanage in Uganda. Right. Mm -hmm. Camilla, I just, I, I'm speechless. I mean, <laughs> so you, you're involved in all these clubs here and Our Hope International outside of school. Um, and that, the way that you're making a difference right now, I feel like you kind of talk to people our age and not very many people can say um, and kind of that they have that passion to make that difference. Mm -hmm. That is truly amazing. Um, thank you, thank you. Also, in addition to those, those clubs and, and Our Hope International, you have a job. So yes. Yes, we all want to know what is it like working at a cafe. What what's? It's actually really fun. <laughs> I've <laughs> I've learned a lot of things about coffee that I didn't know before. Okay. See, I'm not a big coffee drinker, so I I didn't know all like the chemistry behind it, like the measurements. Yeah. And now I I know how to make different drinks. I I actually whenever I don't really go to Starbucks a lot, but whenever I do, I'm just like, hey, can I like hop behind the counter and make my own drink <laughs> myself? <laughs> like, let me show you how it's done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually have a funny story. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I won't say that I'm like the best barista, but um, I, I've had a couple accidents. And have you? Yes, and they all involve milk. <laughs> <laughs> so I steam, for coffee, we have to like steam milk if you want it to be fluffy. And right, I was right. steaming milk, and before they told us, turn off the steaming wand before you take the milk out. And um, <laughs> I did not turn off the steaming wand, and milk exploded all over me. Oh, my goodness. 
Yeah. So that, that steam and water really gets you. Uh, yeah, it really mm -hmm. will. You know, I had people from behind the counter watching me and <laughs> on the other side of the counter just like, are is she okay? <laughs> yeah. So that, that's a science. I, you know, yeah. I had no idea. You know, mm -hmm. just kind of like you go into Starbucks or something, you're just like, yeah, whip me up like a cold brew, man, you know? <laughs> yeah. um, wow. So you, you've seen it all. So we, yeah. And that's at Church of the Highlands, you said. So yes. if, you, if you want your coffee whipped up right, just come see you. Yes. Come see you in the yeah. cafe. <laughs> yeah, Hopefully I won't like explode milk all over myself again. It's, I'll probably I'll come up in like a poncho or something. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, like you know, get some good coffee and you know, make sure we're we're all good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so in addition to having a job as well, you are on the Lady Eagles soccer team. Yes, I am. Um, can you kind of talk about like what this next season is looking like and kind of what is the off season looking like now? So I'm really excited for the season coming up, mostly because I'm just excited to get back in there, work with my team. And with soccer comes like a lot of, you know, focus, running, right. you have to keep your head on a swivel. I'm just, you know, I'm ready to get back into that mentality. Yeah. And um, for the off season, I, whew, man, we, we're, we've been like conditioning and um, it's going well. Is it well? well you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's I definitely know that I need to get into shape before the season right. starts, but. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I know you said before we, we begun the interview, you were kind of talking about how you, you said you ran through some grass the other day. Is yeah, that? We, we do heal sometimes. I say heal weird. But <laughs> <laughs> we, we do heal sometimes. And the um, grass on the hill is very, very tall. Yeah, very tall. And yeah. I'm just, I was like running through it. I'm like, can you still see me? <laughs> Should I raise oh my, my hand? God. Yeah, man. Wow. Mm -hmm. So like you, I mean, all-terrain soccer, huh? Y'all <laughs> ready to play just about anywhere. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Mm-hmm. Um, so everything we've talked about today, above it all, um, what would you say is your biggest dream? What's kind of like where you're headed? What's your vision? Biggest dream. So right now I'm thinking about going into the medical field. Right. So I really want to get into a great college, mm. graduate that great college, go into med, med school, and um, become a doctor. I'm not really sure what field of medicine I want to go into, mm. but um, I, I really enjoy like learning about just medicine in general and how we can, you know, work on the human body to yeah. fix things. And it's, yeah. Camila, you are truly amazing. And I, I personally, I have a, such a high respect for anyone even remotely thinking about going into the medical field. I personally, I, <laughs> I'm kind of more right-brained, I guess you could say. Um, but I mean, you, you are so amazing. And um, looking at everything that you're involved in, um, you sh we can truly say that you are a servant leader, Camilla. Um, and thank just you. like on behalf of everybody, we thank you for what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Um, and we just, we truly look forward to, to seeing how you succeed and, and where you're headed, man. It sounds like you, I mean, you're going to have no trouble, you know, getting into college, your resume, amazing. Uh, and you just, you truly, you, you're passionate and, and you definitely lead by your actions and not your words. Thank so, you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me, Ryan. Yeah. yeah. So be sure to catch up with Camilla Augustus uh, on, all, on all, excuse me, all of her social media. Um, and be sure to keep, keep up with Oak Mountain Media on our Twitter, at OakMTN Media. And for Oak Mountain Media, I'm Ryan Hall.